Science. In this video, I'd like to go over how to convert a repeating decimal to a fraction. So step one, you're going to set up an equation. So you're going to let x equal the repeating decimal, or what is given. Step two is you're going to set up a second equation, equation excuse me, in which the repeating decimal is to the left of the decimal point. Next, in order to do this, you may have to multiply by a factor of 10. Then you're going to subtract equation 1 from 2, solve for x, then simplify. Okay, so let's work through a couple examples. Up first, I'll start with uh, some that are fairly easy, and then we'll get more difficult. First, let's try this, 0.333 repeating. Okay, let's remember the steps. Step 1, just set x to the repeating decimal. Step one is pretty easy. Next, I want for my equation two, I want the repeating portion to be to the left of the decimal. And three, three, three is what's repeating. So I just need to move it one place to the right. So that becomes 10x is equal to 3.333 repeating. Next, subtract the two equations. Uh, 10x minus x is 9x is equal to, all these cancel out, 3, and then divide, solve for x, so I would divide both sides by 9, so this becomes the 9's cancel, x is equal to 3 ninths, or 1 third if you simplify. Okay, that's problem number 1, okay, fairly straightforward. Let's move on to a second one. How about one in which you have 0.1818 repeating? Okay, so let's do the same thing. First, x is equal to the repeating decimal, 1818 repeating. Next, equation 2, I want the 1818 to the left of the decimal. So I'm going to have to move it one, two places. So that is... 100x is equal to 18.1818. Subtract both equations. This becomes 99x is equal to. These cancel out 18. Divide both sides by 99. So x is equal to. Now this is a divisible. Uh, let's see here. It's. It is divisible by 9, so that becomes 2 elevenths, because 9 goes into 18 two times, 9 goes into 99 11 times. Okay, that one was okay. Now let's move one where you have a non-repeating, like 0.1666 repeating. And notice the 1 does not repeat. So, step 1, let's set it to the repeating decimal. Step two, remember we need the repeating portion to the left of the decimal. And 666 is repeating, so we will move it one, two places. So we will go 100x is equal to, I'm going to move it two places, one, two. So this becomes 16.666 because I've moved the decimal one to right there. Now I subtract 100 minus x is 99x is equal to this, these sixes cancel, okay? Uh, however, I didn't line my decimals up real good. This, um, these cancel, but we still have 0.1. So I'm going to draw a little line like this. It's a little messy. So now we have 0.6 minus 0.1. So that becomes 0.5 and bring down the 16. Now divide by 99. Okay, these cancel. Now, what do we do with this decimal in the fraction? Well, all you have to do to get rid of that is, I'm going to move this up a little, is multiply it by 10, each the numerator and denominator by 10. So that becomes 165 over 990. And 165 will go into 990. Um, it will go in, it goes in six times. 165 and 165 is one. 
165 into 990 is 6. So 0.16666 is 1 sixth. Okay, and finally, the last one you may encounter is something like this. Let's go with um, 5.1818 repeating. You have a non-repeating number uh, and then a repeating decimal. Again, set up x is equal to 5.1818 repeating. I need 1818 to the left of the decimal, so I'm going to multiply it by 100. Okay, that becomes 518.1818. Did a little better job with the decimal point on this one. These all cancel. 90, 100 minus x is 99x. Got ahead of myself. These cancel. 518 minus 5 is 513. Divide each side by 99. These cancel. x is equal to 513 over 99. They both will be divisible. Let's see, what do they are divisible each by 9? So this becomes 57, and this becomes 11. So it's 57 11. So let's summarize one more time what we did. Make sure I get this nice and straight. There we go. We're going to step one, just set x to what the repeating decimal is. Step two, set up a second equation in which the repeating decimal is to the left of the decimal point. In order to do this, you may have to multiply by a factor of 10, subtract equation 1 from 2, solve for x, simplify the fraction. It will work for all repeating decimals to a fraction. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.